We've got part of the seat gluing up. Still need to put the back piece on here. And the next step is to glue up the steering wheel. There's some backing that comes off. Make sure that we have the routered pieces on the ends and the black piece for the front. For the steering wheel, I just used epoxy. There are different glues that you could certainly use for acrylic. And the PVC pipe in there is just keeping everything nice and centered. There's no epoxy anywhere near that very center hub, so we should be okay there. We'll let that sit up. And I've got a comment. That steering wheel is really cool. I didn't realize how neat it looked until the plastic was pulled off and it was kind of assembled together. Once this dries, then we can sand the epoxy that's on the surface and give it a nice matte finish. All of the steering parts, the steering hub currently gluing up. I went through my clamp pile and everything is held together nice and tight. Binder clips are another option. This is just wood glued together with tight bond. And last night I finished up the mount for the seat as well as the glue up for the steering wheel. This is just sitting in there in this turns. Just a quick tip as far as gluing wood pieces together. What can be used to keep these from sliding around is if you use a little pinch of salt in the glue, that gives it something to crunch down on, and then as the clips go on, it won't move around. Slowly working my way through the pile of wood. The next step here will be to move on to the motor and cut the shaft down and start assembling the steering hub. I thought I'd show what it looks like in the top of this head unit for the outboard motor. Really simple. I undid the screws on the back. The top piece just comes off. And then we've got our controller there, which will be mounted in the dashboard of the boat. And this long shaft just connects to the switch there. Something I may do, which is an interesting way to handle a battery gauge. Per the design, you can put a battery voltage gauge on the dash. But the motor does have the gauge built into the head here and that might be an easy way to put that into the dash still working on that and thinking about it but as far as the head of the motor comes off pretty easily we'll take these off and then cut the shaft down for the head unit disassembly this shaft is attached to the switch right there there's a little screw that holds that in take the screw off and then pull this off this one didn't want to come off real smoothly so just had to kind of nurse it off but then this comes off this unit is mounted to the dash and then this is the abs 3d printed selector that came with those parts and that will slide on there and then give the selection for the motor another thing that i found interesting i've had other trolling motors but i've never taken one apart like this before and i just assumed that this was a metal shaft and it's plastic which makes cutting easy but something that I wasn't expecting another side note I was also thinking that there might be some rubber gaskets or something in the head here to keep it dry if it got submerged or real wet and I don't see any gasket for the top unit here so as a side note I would not turn this thing upside down or get it totally wet in the top. But so far everything is coming apart pretty smoothly and we'll, we'll progress. Motor head unit all came apart very simply. Here's our switch. Save the wire for some more connections. Our head and the plastic shaft to cut down. Cutting down the motor shaft was pretty easy. What I tried to do at first was to use a conduit to slide down to protect the wires, but I couldn't because in this motor, I don't know if this is standard for all of these, but there was a rubber kind of stopper here, I assume, to keep water from going down inside. So this was kind of tucked in there. So instead, I made a little template for how deep the shaft was and then just very carefully cut around the outside. Seemed to work pretty well. Moving on to the center hub, the steering hub for the motor. These will be glued up 
like that. Centerpiece goes in there, and then these go in the sides. The steering drum is setting up. Everything has been glued and held together for about an hour or so. When it comes to gluing joints, I don't like to stress them for about 24 hours. So the next step will be to fit that into the drum. These are just press fit right now. I want to pull those out and put some epoxy in there and then seat this down inside the steering drum. And then we'll get that mounted on the top of the motor. So making progress. Stay tuned for the build, and thanks very much for taking a look.